I love money, I love money. I am successful, I am rich, I am prosperous. Here you are. All right, hello. Hi, welcome. Thank you for giving Thank me your you. time to make this. Thank you so okay. much. Um, let me ask you, how do you pronounce your name? However, resonate with you. Okay, because I said Ada. That works. Okay. I just... <laughs> okay. Um, I had to get the kids together as well while I was trying to do this. Kids are welcome too, so they can hear the positive affirmations, the love, Absolutely. the money, and they can get used to it. Absolutely. We're all for it. All for it. Um, so I'll give you guys a little bit of my background. Um, I was a teen mom. I was 15 years old when I gave birth to my first child. And um, life was difficult for me, but I made do. Um, I, I went to get my GD at the age of 16. I aspired to become a cosmetologist, although that did not happen for me at that particular time. I never gave up on myself. Give me one second. Give me one second. What's wrong, baby? Well, because you were on your TV and I wanted you to watch it so mommy can have a conversation. You're fine. You can come down here. Okay, mommy. Okay, baby. You. You're fine. I just wanted to, yeah. Um, okay, so that's the background part. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, baby. Um, so um this is so awesome to be on this platform with you. I just want to let you know that you inspire a lot of people. And um, my heart is shaking a little bit because I'm so excited because I feel like the Father has led me to this point in my life to be able to reach back and help other people understand the mindset, affirmations, self-care, working out, drinking water, drinking juice, um, loving your natural self the way you are, the way God created you to be, whatever hair your hair is, whatever skin your skin is, whatever face your face is, you are beautiful and just that you and you and I embody that so I am speaking my truth and I walk in my authenticity and I'm just I just want to let you know that I just love and adore your content thank you okay so back to my story um so I'm just going to skip ahead to just give you guys basically that's my background I had a child at 15 years old but I never gave up on myself I did not go to cosmetology school. I ended up finishing and getting a certification to become a personal trainer. Um, so we're gonna go back four, seven years now because this is where my life started to change. As a child, I always dreamed big. I had a big imagination. Um, I would draw a picture of a vehicle and my mom would pull up in the car that I drew a picture of. Um, I drew pictures of houses and always thought of myself living in this big fancy house and having so much grass and land. Yes, baby, water, absolutely. Um, so I always had my mindset that I was gonna be great. I was gonna be great, I knew that. Um, I went to school for performing arts. Um, I danced, I did a lot of things in my life, but I was never able to do that at that time, particular time of my life. I wasn't capable, able at that time. Seven years ago, I decided to leave my hometown. This is where things started to change for me. Um, I wrote a business plan at 19 years old. Um, I actually still have it to this day. I have a picture of the building um, and it's all in red ink. The aisles where the where everything was going to be set up. I have everything down to the T. I wrote down everything I was going to sell. Um, so seven years ago, I decided to leave my hometown and I went to live with a family member. This is the 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 awesomeness of prayer and why you should always pray. Um, I asked God. I said, Lord, I need a financial breakthrough. I'm struggling to keep my car, paying a car note every month. I'm struggling to keep my car note paid. That's not enough for me. I'm living with my mom. I'm sleeping on her floor. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't like this lifestyle, Lord. I know you have something better for me. Show me what I need to do in my life. What do I need to, what kind of moves do I need to make? Mind you, at this time, I was working at the airport and I had been there for six years. So I had gained some type of a uh, sorority over everybody else. So when I decided to leave, a position became available at that job. I left, went to Virginia, right? Staying with an aunt of mine. And in that time period, 
things was transpiring. She didn't let me use her car to go anywhere. I had to Uber. So I, mind you, I don't have a job nor money. So I had to figure out ways to get in around. The school I was going to was four hours away. I had to find a way to get on the bus. I was not going to allow my aunt's situation or what she was trying to do to take me away from what I was planning to do with my life. So I got an Uber. I talked to the school guys. They partnered me with people that I could ride with who was in the same neighborhood as me that would take me to school back and forth and, and I would give them money. And God would send me money through friends and family who I knew were supportive of me. Um, that was one thing. Another thing was she wouldn't let me get use her address to get a driver's license, you guys. This is amazing. Um, I talked to a friend that was talking to me on Instagram for some time. I never met this person before, but we were always talking. They always liked my content, always engaging, telling me how beautiful I was and all that great stuff. But they ended up living in that state and said I could use their address. And she overheard the conversation and she said, I'll take you to the driver's license place so you can get your ID so I can get my daughter registered for school. Okay, so that happened. I left Atlanta to go to Virginia to live closer to my son who is now 18, 19 years old. I'm 34 years old. I have a 19 year old son who's in Virginia State University for music. He's doing so well, I'm so proud of him. This is my son, Kennedy. This is my new baby. <laughs> Say hi. Hey, hi, successful buddy. spirit, rich, <laughs> abundant, <laughs> handsome king. Yes, I'm beautiful too, just like you, handsome. Yeah. yeah. And I'm prosperous too, just like you, prosperous. <laughs> um, so I actually was going there to change my life. I asked God, I said, Father God, what do I need to do? I need to leave the state. My son lived in Virginia. Um, I gave him up for adoption when I was about 17 so that he could have proper care. I could not take care of him on my own as a, as a child. And he went to stay with his grandmother and they left a few years back to go to Virginia. So I was going to be closer to him. So that was the reason of me leaving Atlanta to go to Virginia. Um, things didn't happen the way they were supposed to happen. So I had to come back to Atlanta. I had to pack me and my daughter back up and we came back to Atlanta. When I came back to Atlanta, I went back to my job. Can you go get me a, a blue pillow? Can you go find me a blue pillow? Go get a blue pillow. I had to, um, big, big blue pillow. Can you find me one? Okay, find me one. Um, I went back to Atlanta. Um, I went back to my job at the airport. I got the position. I needed training. There was a young lady that was working in the office at this time because I had left. And um, she made me rage quit. So I quit from that job and I went home. Yeah, I went home to not feel bad for myself, but say, God, you know what? You know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, God, but I know you're doing something in my life. I know that you're going to turn this around for me. I prayed about it and I went online and I started applying for Dollar Tree jobs, you guys. I just wanted to just keep my head down. I just wanted to be busy. I didn't want to be at my mom's house every day. I was tired of living there. And um, I remember telling my sister one day after I got the job, I worked there for three days during this time. And in, the, in three days time, district manager came and asked me to be their assistant manager. Um, God was just showing me that you are about to get blessed and these doors are getting ready to open for you because you walked out on faith. You stepped out on faith and you believed in yourself. And although that your big move did not, you know, your big move that you were trying to make didn't go through for you, you still have an opportunity and I'm about to show it for you. So I went to work every day. I didn't have a car, you guys. I didn't have money. I just got up and I went to work with a smile on my face. I was positive. I kept my mind state on my promise that the Lord has promised me. Um, a month later, this man walked in the door. KJ, can you stop there for a minute? Let me talk, okay? I know you want to talk. And we're going to let you talk in just a moment, but let mommy talk, okay? Um, this man walked in the door. And um, I would say maybe a month later, we started talking. It wasn't really serious. He started bringing me lunch. I didn't have money for lunch one day, and he overheard me on the phone asking someone to cash at me $5. And he was like, you're such a beautiful lady. You shouldn't be asking for any money for, you know, lunch. She brings me lunch every day. And then um, he brought me lunch one day and I wasn't at work. And so I invited him over to my house. And 
we sat in the driveway and we talked. It was like brand new to me. It was like high school. Hold on, baby. It was like high school. Didn't know, but I knew it was divine because he called me Stormy, which is a name that I named myself as, at the age of 18. Um, you guys, I have a brand new, I have a 2020 Hyundai Kona. I live in the house of my dreams. I have my own businesses. Um, I, I gave him two children because he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> um I I always talk about affirmations. Yeah, affirmations, yeah, affirmations. Yeah, it's so yeah, important to speak yeah, positivity yeah. over your life. It's so important to encourage yourself in everything that you do. You have to keep your mind stayed on the prize. You have to look at the ride. Remember riding on the bus and listening to music like bag lady, you gonna miss your bus. And I remember I didn't want to be the bag lady i didn't want to be the bag lady i was like no i'm not i'm gonna leave these bags right where they are um <laughs> one of the most amazing things that happened to me during that time period of that seven years of my life i was able to go take my son to the steve harvey mentoring program and during that time i was um i didn't have nothing but a bag i had one bag my hair was in the afro little mohawk style it was red I had on my bohemian clothing. I was rocking my naturalness. And um, I'm amongst these women with long, beautiful wigs and beautiful lashes and beautiful clothes. And I never felt that I didn't fit in this room with these women. I always knew that I was going to one day acquire the same things because my mindset was stayed on the fact that these are the women that I look up to these are the women that that's going to get I'm going to get to where they are one day I'm going to be sitting in my Chanel I'm going to be sitting in my Gucci or whatever it whatever but that's not the life I acquire but I'm saying if that's what I want to I can have those things because my mindset is stayed on that that's my promise that was promised for me and um during that time period of that four-day period that we were at the mom summit they called me on the stage I did not know who these women were. I just said, hey, how you guys doing? You know, and the, I didn't know the lady was a part of the panel. I didn't know this money. I didn't know this. Okay. I didn't know who this lady was. I just was speaking to her and she asked me a question. She said, why are you here? I said, well, because, you know, my son, he's, I, when I was a teenager and I just want to build a, a stronger bond with him. We come back from that little engagement and sit down in this in the room and they go on stage and all of a sudden this lady is up on the stage. I'm sitting in this seat and I'm looking at this lady. She's introducing these women right in front of Cynthia Bailey and her husband. OK, Cynthia Bailey was sitting in the audience. OK, she introducing these women. And then all of a sudden she says, I was speaking to a young lady and she moves my spirit and I want to invite her on the stage with us. And she got me up on that stage. God will open doors for you when you believe in yourself. And also when you stay true to who you are, you don't have to pretend to be nobody. Like I love your style. I love everything that you represent because you stand in your power. You stand in your truth. You stand in your authenticity. That's what's going to attract everything and everybody. So, uh, baby, the sky is the limit. So I do self-care. I stay at home with my kids. I've been at home. I, I haven't had to work in four years. Um, I do what I want to when I want to, whenever I want to, because I can. How does it feel? Uh, it feels magnificent. I come, I used to sleep on my mom's floor. Now I have 14 feet ceiling and I have hardwood floors throughout. And it's aesthetically pleasing. I'm sorry, but I came from rags and I'm in my riches now. So you were I'm born not into riches and you were still yes. into riches. Yes, yes. As you yes. deserve it. You you see how you and when were you were you were struggling? Why why didn't you just give up and quit and be like, oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame the my mom, I'm gonna blame my siblings, I'm gonna blame whatever is happening to me. Why didn't you blame nobody? Because you've been speaking, but you haven't mentioned that, oh. My mom could have done this or my sibling could have done that. You have been saying me, me, me. Why is that? Because it's the inner voice inside of me. I'm going to tell you guys, um, my mom suffered from addiction. My dad suffered from addiction. I'm the oldest girl and I had to figure it out. 
Um, I have a little sister who looked up to me and I just, it was always easy for me. You know, that's when you know you are chosen. You are a child of God. You can't, it's not on me. It's in me. I can't help when I walk into room, people stop to see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, when I'm doing it. People trying to keep up. They're trying to figure it out. A lot of people thought they left me behind. I have friends who had a, um, the head start lifestyle. They had cars at 16. They mom got them through college. They were able to buy the Jordans and the nice this and nice that. I didn't have that. I had my little rainbow outfit, Forever 21, H&M, but you couldn't tell me nothing because I thought I was that girl and will forever be that girl. So I never looked at my, I always looked at my situation and said that I'm not going to be a product of my environment. I always knew I was special because people would tell me I was special. I believe the people that I looked up to that I was special. I did not want, I had, I would suffer from bullies. People bullied me. I'm still, and as an adult, come sometimes get bullied. Um, but I just know that through the word, when you're in your Bible and you study the word and you understand that you are going to have trials and tribulations. And then the word, it says that um, the weapons may form, but they shall not prosper. Um, when you come from a, I don't want to say like a religious background, but, you know, I was in the Bible as a child and all those things always stood out to me. It's all it's it's about the willing the willpower. You have to will until you want it. So whatever it is you want out of life, you have to will it until it, it manifests. Because I believed in that. My brother turned me on to um, meditation at a young age, so I was able to silence a lot of intrusive thoughts. Um, in the last four years, I was able to to heal my childhood trauma. So I don't live in the past anymore. I don't live in that fifteen year old girl who was pregnant and have the shame of the family looking at me. I I never let them make me feel any kind of way either. Mm-hmm. Now when I go around and tell them my story, they looking at me like, "What? How did that happen?" Because I never gave up on myself. I just never did. I just never gave up on myself. Yeah. When you were were practicing meditation, are you still practicing? How do you do it, or what do you do when you meditate? So I close my eyes and I envision a white light around me, a, a white healing light, a white light of pure energy. And then I summon from my heart. I chant things like affirmations. I am love. I am light. I am magnificent. Yes, you are. Um, I also journal. I believe writing things down is very important, but I always keep this. I start off with a nice affirmation. I lead myself into a place of serenity, whatever that place may look like for everybody. Everybody's place looks different. For me, it's by a creek on a tree with some deers and some bunny rabbits and some flowers. And there's a running water and I'm able to drink from it. And there's birds singing and I'm in the wilderness and I'm just in this beautiful long dress. I mean, if I could tell you, I could tell you that's how it looks to me. You know, it's beautiful sunshine and it's never raining. And I just go to that place in my mind. Um... I just had her five months ago, so I just got back to working out. Working out helps a lot. It releases positive dopamines in the body. Um, I eat pretty good, um, but meditation, affirmations, prayer. Write it down. Write that plan down. Write write that mission statement. Write what it is that you want the world to know about you in, in books. I'm gonna go get my book. It's right here in front of me. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read to you a, a, just one, just one. It's right here in front of me. And by the way, you look really nice today. Oh, thank <laughs> I you. Know you know that. Oh, no, you know that. But you thank you for reminding me. You know, I'm gonna remind you anytime I can. I'm gonna. I'm gonna encourage you. Oh. Uh, what can I say about I you? Look, well, you know, you know how you look. You, I mean, you I cannot know. look bad, no matter what you do or where you are. You are divine every single day, twenty four seven. Here's one. Okay. Lately, I've been wanting to speak, but don't know what to say. What can I do to make things better in my life? Do I know myself? Do I love myself? What is wrong? What will make it better? I have to start telling myself that things are getting better every day. Speak from your heart. 
Father God, thank you. I'm just saying that, Father God, thank you, because I feel like this is this is old, but we're reading it today. Yes. In no time. Wait a minute. Speak from your heart and know it's true. Don't let anyone stand in the way from what God has for you. Move and know that your steps are ordered and the voice you have will deliver others. I'm trying to understand how I really feel about the things going on in my life, how to conquer my fears and doubts, to become the best version of myself. I need to get out and start living my life. There is nothing wrong with what you're doing. And that's just, just affirmations. You just have to go extra hard. I need to stop allowing people to get me upset about how I live my life. My abilities to do things through the great I am, goddess of love and light, give me strength, keep me moving, and focus on my dreams. Keep me with peace and those around me. Bless me with the ability to see clearly and really use my eye. I want to do the deeds I need to. I'm ready to serve you. My goddess of divine healing, heal my body, mind, and soul from, the past, from my past life. Keep me safe and guard my heart. Keep toxic people out of my life. Bring me my king, the great king you would have me to be. I want a family and a life outside myself, giving and teaching, caring and nurturing for others. And here we are. I don't have the dates, but I had this book. I can go back to a date. I pre I'm pretty sure I have a date in here. It's probably like 2017. I have my business plan in here. I keep this book near my side because I like to show receipts because people say, how you manifest your life? What you mean you was positive? What you mean you said affirmations? What you mean? So when you ask me that, I'm like, I can't wait till I can go live because I'm going to tell it all. <laughs> 2019. 19. I got, we're 2024 and you're still living it. Yep. And as 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 you were speaking, I noticed a partner. I noticed how, how positive you speak about yourself and your circumstances. I notice how you take ownership for everything that happened to you. And I notice how you just have an, an unbreakable faith, right? Some people believe in God, conscious yeah. of the universe, but that unbreakable faith has carried you all. And that, that, that positive talking, the power of words, that's what I teach in my classes. That's what I keep making in my videos. I don't know yes. if, if people think it's a joke. Wait, no. I'm saying I'm being delusional. Your what that's how God created everything. He said, Let it be light, and there was light using his word. So, what made you think that you cannot change something or overcome something or build something by using the words? The spirit of God is in you, winning you. So you have that power, but are you using it? And also, I'm I'm, I'm I love how you were communicating with your child. You were like, hey, please, can you wait? That positive talking with your kids, that goes a long way. Some parents, unfortunately, they're gonna tell their kids, oh. Oh, you dumb. Oh, you stupid. Oh, my God. Why are you so... I wish I didn't have you. Look, all those negative words, you are, you are setting your, your keep up for what? For failure. Because those outside voices the kids heard as they grew become their internal voices. Oh, you dumb. Oh, you weak. Oh, my God. Which stupid kid is did you? Why? Why are you cursing on your kids so much? I don't understand. And see you have Those are the your kids with positivity. I'm like, I love that. Please keep it up. Keep doing it. <laughs> may, they might not tell you thank you now, mom, but as they go, they're not gonna forget. But no. I'm gonna ask you, who are you? I'm a king. Why? Because my mom said I'm a king. Period. Right. It's, it right. starts in the house. You are setting them up for, for, for success. And not only materialistic, I'm talking about mm -hmm. emotion, emotional success, physical success. Because those positive words and also them seeing you that you went for your dreams, you went for your goals, that also mm -hmm. going to, oh, my mom did what she wanted to do, which means mm -hmm. I can do it too because now you are leading them by example. You don't have to tell them, hey, I did this. Oh, my mom has her own business. My mom yes. is happily married with, with our dad. Once they see that, they grew in that positive, healthy environment, they're going to embody whatever they saw in their house. Yes. That's so right. Thank you so much for noticing me. For you for sharing. 
and when mm -hmm. you think you said how, how important it, it is the, the the mindset do you think mindset can keep somebody poor oh yeah oh um, yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah um i have um not everybody was able to come with me on the way up i had to leave some people behind because their mindset was not set on but why the didn't you keep them didn't you love them enough to keep them i love them enough to keep them but where God is taking me, if they're not ready to go, I can't drag them with me. I can't make somebody come with me to the next level. I'm going to tell you, I got people in my life that I tried to help. And um, every time I try to help them, they always say, whoa, me, whoa, me, whoa, me. But it is if you decide, if you just wake up today and decide, I'm going to be a better person today. I'm going to tell myself every day until I get better that I'm going to be a better person. That's uh, there's a science project they have two plants one plant they spoke negatively to and then one plant they spoke love to the plant that they were speaking negatively to died the plant that they spoke love to was growing strong had strong roots right so however you place yourself in your foundation that's why nobody can shake my my faith when it comes to to the creator to the father and whatever you want to call it but it's all the same thing to me in my eyes people argue back and forth about religion i'm like we're all saying the same thing we just have a different perspective on how we're saying it yeah you got your cards yeah kj got a lot of cards um but mindset is definitely important so yes i love them and i hope that one day they can acquire a mindset that will get them to their next level but they're just not I can't make them come with me. So when they're ready, they will be here or they will just get left behind. And sometimes you have to be okay with loving people from a distance and loving people from their hurt and where they are. You know, you don't judge them. You don't make them feel bad, but you just, you know, that doesn't work for me. My mindset is stayed on. I'm going to get better and better, whether the, whatever the situation may be. But yes, I've had to leave people behind. I love them still to this day. They can call me. We can talk about it. But am I going to have a pity party? No, I'm all about tough love. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and be like, yeah, girl, mm -hmm. uh -uh, I feel so sorry for you. No, I'm going to go pop open this book and be like, um, let's find a word that's going to encourage you. I am greater than this situation. I'm going to get out of this situation alive. I'm going to get out of this situation alive. Yes. So absolutely. My said is it. It's everything. And, and do you ever feel bad that like, oh it's my family oh I, do you nope. do you have why why not why don't you feel bad i used to but the father has given me peace with that um yeah. at first i felt really bad for my situation and me going where i'm going but i say to myself you know if they want this lifestyle they can too have it too they just have to change the way they think about it they have to think you know think about themselves in a good light i'm never going nowhere i'm going to always be in the hood i know people that I, I'm always going to be in rags. I'm always going to be like this. I can't get that. I don't, I'm not like you, Shalun. I don't have your personality. I don't have your beauty. I don't have your figure. I don't have your spirit. You know, people was, I had to leave a lot of friends behind because they will always compare themselves to me. I don't want to be around insecure people. I don't want to be around you if you don't feel like I feel about myself when I get up in the mornings with a crusty in my eyes. And my teeth unbrushed. I love just the way I I love me just the way that I am. I don't need nobody to tell me I'm beautiful. I don't need nobody to get me up and say, you need to work out. You said you were trying to lose 15 pounds. I hold myself accountable. A lot of people that don't want to hold themselves accountable are going to be left behind. They make excuses for, for everything. Oh, my mom this and my mom that. I could have had, I got pregnant at 15 years old. I could have let that be my excuse. I could let me being 15 years old is the reason why I'm on welfare, living in the projects, not having suitable child care. I can sit at home with my kids. I can teach my children because I didn't sit and waddle in my self pity. When is God going to come and say? When is he going to save me? He already gave you a mind. Save yourself. You got to save yourself. Nobody's coming to do it. I just posted a, a video. Please follow me. Please follow. I want you to see what I'm doing, too. I like. To, I love to see what you're doing. I want you to see what I'm doing. I want you to see well, I'm working. Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll be going to your page and leaving comments then so you can do that. <laughs> now that I know, okay, let's do it. Ask and you shall receive. Yes. Yes, please do. I want to read this last one and then... Yeah, um, go ahead. I we have uh, eight minutes left before Zoom. 
close this. So go ahead. Okay. Cool. Wanna read Mommy. Before. Mommy. Yes, baby. Come on. Okay. Okay. I just want to leave this one because I am screen recording this video because um yeah, it needs to be recorded. Of course. I'm continue. I've continued my journey. I've I'm back on course. The next thing to do is get back on. It's your time to focus on you. Stop getting lost in your endeavors. No matter the situation, no matter what may come your way. Kennedy, Kennedy, I'm gonna give you my attention in just a minute, okay? Wait a minute. You can't tear mommy page. Okay, you're gonna stop it. You're gonna stop that. Okay. No matter the situation, no matter what may come your way, it's time to get up and do something about it. Kennedy, stop it. This is your life. You make the change in your life. Let's take care of the things we need to so that we can start living the life you would like to live. There's nothing wrong with starting over. You can now begin the point where you left off and do the one thing you strayed away from. With your guiding light, by my side, I can do all things. I will always put you first. It's time to come home and finish my task that was asked of me. The time is now. I accept the challenges. I accept the challenges. My back, I'm back and I'm ready to guide me and lead me. I shall follow. I'm keeping this. So when you, when I asked you what was your favorite book and you said you'd like to read the stuff I love to read about me. When you said I was like, I love to read about me too. I love to to ask myself questions and I like to ponder on what's my next thought, what's Your my thoughts, next path. Just to reflect on why you are thinking and how you are feeling. And it's not when I think when people hear journaling, they think, oh, I have to talk about my dreams and my goals. No, journaling is you reflecting to yourself. What are you thinking? How are you feeling? It's a way of giving yourself validation that, hey, I'm allowed to feel this way. I'm allowed to think this way. However, what I'm going to do, and also when you can put your thoughts in a paper, it's easier for you to be like, mm, no, this is negative. I don't want it. Why am I thinking so bad about myself? Why am I thinking so bad about myself? You see those bad and negative words in the paper? Like, wow, I said this about myself? And you remove it because I don't think nobody wants to feel bad and feel negative. So why would you be the first person to speak bad about yourself? Well, you journal is a reflection. And as, as you said too, the fact that you wrote that, Years later, and now you can go back at it and be like, I wrote this. It just shows that the timing is always is always on time. And that everything, yes. at least to me, everything that happens to us happens for our greatest good or for something better. As, as long as your, your heart is pure, your heart is clean, you, you're going to be good. Because let's not forget that the, the flaws of life, the experiences we go through, the inspiration of that is, is what is in our heart. So keep your heart, Absolutely. keep your mind full of happiness, positivity, love, all the good things you want to have, you can Absolutely. have it. You were, you were born to, to, to be abundant, to be rich, to be prosperous. If you believe in God, consciousness in the universe, God was not poor. So what makes you think that you are the child of God you're supposed to be poor? Be poor. You don't have to struggle for money. You don't have to beg for money. You don't have to cry for money. You don't have to... Uh, 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 destroy your integrity for money. You don't. Why? Because with the power of your thoughts, with your mental power, your psychological power, your spiritual power, you can create all the things you want for yourself, for good for others and without harming yourself and nobody else. And there is no limit. The universe is infinite, which means the things you can do, the things you can overcome, the things you can have are infinite. But it all go up here your mind because before something happening before you seen something with your eyes you're gonna see it with in your mind first before you've been able to touch something physically first and foremost you're gonna touch it in your mind first this is the phone right before me taking that phone with my hand i already thought oh i want the phone so it first appeared in my mind now my body make the action because we are a mind with a body our, our body simply follows whatever is in our mind our mind can heal us and our mind can, can also make us sick. Our mind can make us rich and our mind can make us poor. It depends on how you use that powerful tool of yours, which is your mind. If you don't train your mind, it's going to become your enemy. But if you train it, you are the master of your life. Because if you can control your mind, you can control your experiences. But if you cannot control your mind, you cannot control who you become. And you cannot control who you are today.
In even words, if somebody else is controlling your mind, you are the slave of somebody else. Control your mind. Be the owner. You are responsible. You are in charge of your destiny. Nobody else is. Even if you want to blame your parents, social media, your religion, the government, your friends, your exes, your boyfriend, girlfriend, they are in charge of you. They are not. They were not born with you. They're, gonna, they're not going to die with you. The dreams you have, the goals you have, is not on their mind. So why are they supposed to do it for you? You had that goal, then you go and make it. You had that dream, then you go and make it. Oh, I'm going to wait for my friends. Oh, my family, the government. What if they never support you? They never believe in you? Then you're going to wait forever? Because they, they didn't, they didn't. They did. Then you go and do it. You want support? Give it to yourself. You want love? Give it to yourself. You want somebody to believe in you? Believe in yourself. As simple as that. Oh, I'm going to wait for somebody to support me. Be that somebody. Be that somebody that you, that person that you wish to have in your life to do amazing things for you, successful things for you. Be that somebody for yourself and towards yourself. You can, if you choose to, and if you believe you can. No, thank you for wanting to share your testimony because you told me, oh, I want to, like, oh, you want to share? Yeah. And we made it happen. But I spoke that I wanted to speak. You heard the, the message. I said, I want to speak. I'm speaking now. I'm doing what I asked this, what I wrote down. I said I was going to do. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> and you, you work from home. You, you, say, you, you say you've been four years without working. For some, yeah. for some people, that sounds impossible to achieve. Yeah. Because some people believe yeah. that you have to work hard. If you don't work hard, you won't have money. Do you agree with that? Uh -oh. I don't have no problems with that. I go and do what I want to whenever I want, want to. I don't worry about money. Money comes to me. Money flows to me. I am money. <laughs> I am money. Money money is attracted to me. So every time I come somewhere, money be like, hey. I don't have to work hard. I just think big. I think big. I don't think little. I think big, you know? <laughs> I'm really funny. I have a great sense of humor. I'm amazing, you know. I'm, I'm gonna yes, be, I'm gonna be speak highly of myself. I'm gonna always speak highly of myself. As you should. Yeah, as, as I should. What amazing? What you were doubting? You are. Here I come. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We're so so blessed, you know. So when you think like that, you attract what you want, and you get it. You get what you want out of life when you start putting your mindset on greatness. Uh, I have a brother who, um, you know, makes excuses all the time. He's deteriorating. He's deteriorating in front of my eyes. I'm watching my brother deteriorate. His teeth are falling out of his mouth. Um, his hair is falling out. Um, he doesn't take accountability. He makes excuses all the time. He he wanted to do music, but his music is sitting on his laptop in his room. His music is sitting on his laptop. He make beats all night long, perfecting the craft, perfecting the crafts, and never show it to nobody, to never put it to somebody's hand and say, listen to my beat. I don't care how many people I got to talk to today. That's why I love the video. You going out selling those wristbands. I want a wristband. I'll buy a wristband. Because I admire you standing right here, standing in your face, standing in your power, and saying, hey, Support me, because I'm supporting myself right now. I got wristbands for sale. Who want a wristband? Wristbands for sale. I got wristbands for sale. Yeah, I, hey. I, got, I got them here. Hey. Hey. The wristbands are here. Hey. I got wristbands for sale. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon, and thank you for your time. Thank you Appreciate so much. It. Have a good one. My honor. Bye, King. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, kiddos. Keep being successful and rich and abundant. Say Bye, thank King. you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Have a good one. I'll see you again, my friend. Okay. Bye. Bye.